Roman Settlements Before the Romans arrived on the scene, Britain was still very rural. People lived in villages and on farms. They stayed within the borders of their tribe's territory, unless they were travelling or trading. Once Britain became part of the Roman Empire, this way of life began to change. Cities and towns were built up and down the country. Lots of thought went into where to build a town. The best places were at major junctions, between roads or rivers, so that goods could be easily brought in and out of the town. Roman Roads Roman cities, towns and forts were connected to each other with straight, stone-paved roads. These roads were slightly sloped so that water would drain into ditches on either side. They even had footpaths and bridleways running alongside them. Buildings and layout Each town was planned as a grid with crisscrossing streets running in parallel lines. They had marketplaces, courts and public baths. The most important towns were surrounded by thick defensive walls to keep enemies out. A Roman governor would be appointed to oversee the town. He and his family lived in a luxurious villa at the centre of the town. Other important people lived close by. There were also guest houses where rich and important visitors could stay the night. Roman Villas Unlike the round houses that were once so common in Britain, Roman villas were rectangular and had many rooms. They were usually built around a central courtyard where the owners could entertain guests. The richest people in Roman society built extravagant villas with mosaic floors, underfloor heating, water features, statues and a private bath. The roofs had red tiles and the walls were painted white. Wow! The Romans certainly knew how to make a good first impression. It is still possible to visit the remains of some of these Roman villas. Some of the best examples are in Chedworth and Great Wickham, both in Gloucestershire, Littlecote, Wiltshire and Lullingstone, Kent. Farms and villages of course, not everyone lived in a town. Some poor people worked in the town, but returned home to their house in the countryside every evening. Others lived and worked on farms and in villages in the countryside. They visited the nearest town at least once a month to buy and sell goods. Roman place names. Although the Romans named many towns in Britain, most of these places haven't kept their Roman name. This makes it difficult to know which British towns used to be Roman settlements. Thanks to historians and archaeologists, we know the Roman names of many places in Britain. They all end with one of the typical Roman suffixes. A, A, Ia, Is, Us and Um. Look at these Roman place names for British cities. Some haven't changed much in 2000 years, while others have changed beyond recognition. Londinium, London. Dubris, Dover. Lyndon, Lincoln. Lloydis, Leeds. Luguvalium, Carlisle. Eboracum, York, Deva, Chester.